Hey, what's up, everybody? This is Daniel Sun. Yeah, I'm doing another uh, 80s fragrance review today. Uh, as a matter of fact, my last review was uh, Fahrenheit Eau de Toilette. Um, today, I decided to do Dracar Noir by Guy La Roche. Um, I'm probably going to keep on doing my uh, old school classics for a while. Um, my next review after this one is probably going to be Polo Green. Um, after that, I might do uh, Tabak Original Eau de Toilette. So I think I'm going to keep doing this for quite a while, the, the 80s fragrances and the old school classics for a while. Let me give you a little bit of uh, information about this. Dracar Noir, the house is Guy La Roche, which is a French fashion house. Um, Dracar Noir, actually, if my interpretation is correct, means black um, Viking dragon ship. Um, this came out in 1982. The perfumer is Pierre Wardney. He has done uh, 26 fragrances, I believe. Um, some of these y'all will know some of y'all will know some of these fragrances um he has done cool water game by davidoff only the brave by diesel very irresistible by Givenchy, um baldess serini by hugo boss antidote by victor and roth loam by yves saint laurent contradiction by calvin klein um la nuit de loam by yves saint laurent so he's done some uh Really cool fragrances, and this has actually won a few awards. In 1985, it won a Fragrance Foundation Award, the Fifi Award for Most Successful Men's Fragrance in 1985. Um, in 2010, it won the Fragrance Hall of Fame Award in Canada. In 1991, it was the best-selling men's fragrance worldwide, $20 and up. So it has done very, very well since 1982. This particular batch that I have is from 2015. Let me show you the, uh, the bottle, the presentation. I actually really, really, really like this bottle. I like the looks of it. Um, I like the shape of it. I think the shape is really cool. The finish, the surface of this, I don't know what it is, but it feels really, really good. Um, I like the color. I like the way the Dracar Noir is written. Um, Guy La Roche on the uh, front, Guy La Roche Paris, and it's got some information on the back. The uh, sprayer actually is very good. The atomizer sprays really well. But there's just something about it. It looks a little bit flimsy, so be really careful. Make sure you don't like knock this off because the base of the sprayer looks a little bit thin or something. I don't know. Um, but I like the looks of it. The cap actually even looks pretty cool. It's just uh, cheap plastic, but the overall looks of the bottle, is, I like it a lot. I really do. Um... The notes to this I got off the official Guy La Roche website. Um, top notes for this is basil, rosemary, green mint, verbena, lavender, and lemon. The heart notes is angelica, wormwood, juniper, coriander. The base notes is oak moss, patchouli, cedar, pine needles, and balsam. If I had to describe this fragrance... This, to me, this is a everything fragrance. And what I mean by that is I have some fragrances that are just mainly floral. And I have some fragrances that are mainly citrus. This, to me, is everything in one bottle, except maybe gourmand. This is not gourmand, but it's pretty much everything else. This is citrus, spicy, herbal, floral, earthy, woody, resinous, mossy. It's like everything in one bottle. Um, as a matter of fact, the, the opening to me mainly is the 
citrus from the lemon, and there's the rosemary and basil in the opening. That's the two main things that I get from the opening. Um, the main things that I get in the mid is it starts getting floral with the lavender and spicy with the juniper and coriander. Um, And in the dry down, it gets really woody and earthy um, with the patchouli and oak moss. And there's resinous with the balsam and there's real a real good wood note with that cedar. So it's basically just like everything and it's very masculine and it just smells of 80s, which is... I don't know a really good thing I like I like fragrances that were made in the 80s um, as a matter of fact there's something about fragrances that were made in the 80s that it's like they all share the same DNA in a way even though I could have two fragrances that were made in the 80s and they don't have anything in common as far as the notes or anything but it there's just something about them that smells like the 80s, and I don't know what it is. Um, the performance on this um, isn't quite what it was when I first got this in the 80s, I think the mid or late 80s when I, was, when I first um, purchased this. From what I can remember, it's not quite the same, but it's actually still, even though... This is the 2015 batch. It actually still gets really good performance. Um, I'm getting about seven hours longevity and the projection is a good, right at about an hour solid projection. So the performance is actually really good. Um, the only negative thing that I could possibly say about this fragrance would be in the very very opening the the lemon and the sweetness has a little bit of artificial an artificial vibe to it but other than that this is a solid fragrance as far as I'm concerned very masculine and like I said it has everything in it um, it's very masculine very woody resinous earthy, spicy, citrusy, herbal, everything, everything you could possibly want in fragrance it has in this bottle. Um, the price point on this is killer also. This is a 50 mil. I got this from FragranceNet. As a matter of fact, I'll put the link in the description on where you can get this. Um, I would recommend getting a 50 mil if you've never tried this before. A 50 mil, this size bottle will run you about 17 or 18 bucks which is killer or you can get a hundred mil which is I think $28 at fragrance net but I'll put the link in the description on where you can get this but yeah I highly recommend everybody get your nose on this if you haven't yet um, killer fragrance from the 80s um, this will always be in my collection and um, will always be a classic as far as I'm concerned, um, but yeah, I hope y'all, I hope y'all have uh, gotten something from this, and uh, hopefully, I'll be back in a few days to do polo. Anyway, I hope y'all have a good day, and I will talk to you guys later. All right, love you. Bye.